So when I started today and I started taking clips for this video, I thought it was going to be some triumphant overcoming of Mother Nature and this rain. But here I am, 7 or 7.30 p.m. And we're getting kicked off the field yet again. So we got pushed off the field with rain yesterday. And then it continued to sprinkle and spit all evening and normally because my experience is working in clay soils I would think okay we're off now for a couple of days while the soil dries out but I worked in Australia for a winter and we had a very sandy site there I couldn't believe that we were working in soil that had just been rained or was currently being rained on now because we have fairly sandy soil here and we're on a time crunch I'm going to see if we can plant. All right, TJ just finished drawing the trip lines. And what this is are just straight lines that go perpendicular across the site that tell the person sitting on the back of the planter when to trip it, when to send seed down into the ground because every plot requires an individual trip. It's raining so we're, we're packing up. Uh, we're not going to plant anymore. So we got rained out back in Carmen so I jumped in my truck and drove up here to Headingley where we have another field site because it looked like it wasn't raining. And lo and behold, it's not, but this place is just a soup. It's heavy clay and the mud is sticking to my boots. I'm sinking deep into the, the quicksand. I don't think we're going here anytime soon. Lo and behold, we have a problem. The planter that we want to use, I've never used before and nobody here has ever used before. The computer's not on it, so I have no way to push the button to get the seed to go into the ground. It just doesn't work. So we're going to have to MacGyver a solution to get this thing to work. All right, so we need to lift this up without articulating or the solenoid. And so I think the only way to do it is either have someone manually come and lift this up or to tie a string and allow the person up top to do it. So we've ran this twine and we're going to Lightly. give it a light, light <laughs> tug. And down. I think that'll work. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need electronics. We're back in the field again. It stopped raining and we got the planter out and TJ just moved it forward and do you know what? It looks like it might be dry enough. You know, it's one of these things that you don't know until you try. Yeah. And you would think, oh, it's been raining off and on all day. Yeah. It's not gonna work. Man, that, those furrows. Yeah. Man, those look good. Soybeans, they're more forgiving. You're putting them deeper. Canola, you're putting right on the surface. Then you end up picking them up on the pack wheels, like the individual seeds. Right. Field fixes like this are annoying, but often necessary just to get things done. And I kind of like it. I like jerry-rigging things together. I just have to keep reminding myself to have a welt stock toolkit and have plenty of odds and ends lying around so we can make this happen. Now weather is a part of farming. It's a tough part. And make no mistake, I am not a farmer. At the end of each day, I get to go home to my family and leave the research farm. But other farmers like my Uncle John who lives two miles north of here, they don't have that liberty. And it's been tough. Last year was a drought. This year it's a, a flood. Farmers here are feeling burnt out and they don't even have their crop in the ground yet. So if you have a chance, make sure you thank a farmer. They're the real heroes. 